Yo guys, reading and analyzing the markets is always hard. So if you want some AI power to help you out, then this video is for sure for you. Now we all know that AI is getting better and better at doing things. And one of these things is reading images. So I thought it was a good idea to create a new tool, a tool that I don't use myself so often yet, but I think will be really great in the future, is a tool that actually can take images from charts, give them to an AI and ask the AI to analyze the charts. So that's what we will build today. We will use trading view charts. We will make screenshots from them all automatically, give them to an AI, just like Grok Vision, for example, and ask the AI to analyze the image for us and see if it's a bullish chart or a bearish chart and also why the AI thinks this way. So that's what we're going to build today. It's a new tool. I think it has a lot of potential for the future. So if you think this is cool, stick around and I'll explain you how to do it. All right, before we start, I will show you what we will build today. I'm here in my code editor and I will start the app for us to see what it does. So the app goes to TradingView and takes screenshots with a built-in function from TradingView from all the charts that I provided. In this case, we're doing three charts. Once it takes the screenshots, it creates links and then uh, it will feed these links to a AI that does uh, vision analytics. For example, Grok Vision, which also gets uh, parameters such as images which you can provide a image url based on the image it will do some kind of analysis and uh, give us back a result like is this chart bullish or is the chart like bearish and also a bit of an explanation why it says so we can for example see to the four hour xrp usdt chart we can have a look and as you can see it turns green here it's above the ema and um, for the AI, it says that it's bullish. The price is above the 200 period moving average. And the RSA is above 50, indicating bullish momentum. So we can see if that's the case. RSI is above 50 and we're above the EMA. So um, yeah, our AI thinks that this is a bullish chart. So that's what we will make today. And uh, I'll see you in the code. All right, guys, so this is our code base for the tool that we will build today. If you watched the previous video, we created a data stream for Binance and all that logic is in the data streams folder. Today, we are building a tool that will use an AI. So for that, I put everything in the AI agents folder and the code base starts in the ta.ts file. NTA stands for technical analysis. So everything starts by using the analyze charts function and that is what we have here. So the first thing that we need to do is have our shards loaded in and all my shard strings they are stored in config AI agents and shards. So if you have a look at that you can see we have AI agents shards and then some strings here and I have the following format it says four hour which is the time frame the pair XRP USDT and then the actual link to the chart and the link is a chart on TradingView and if you don't know what TradingView is it's a platform that people use to make all kind of analysis it uh, allows you to search all kind of different pairs and put indicators on the charts to do some technical analysis and actually predict the price and we will also use this platform to yeah provide these charts to our AI so one of the functionality that this platform offers is that you can create pictures from these charts. You can download the image, you can just copy the image, but you can also copy a link to an image that will be created. And later our script will come here and programmatically take a image from the chart that we can then give to our AI. So. To make a chart like this, I can show you, I can remove all the indicators that we have here at the moment so that I can explain how this is built up. So let's say that we have a chart called XRP USDT and you can add more charts. I have a lot of them here like that I have watch list, but um, you can you can add any chart that you want. So then you can add indicators to it. And for this example, I will add the Michaels EMA 
because I think it's a really good indicator. I will add the relative strength index and I will add volume. So you can all you can add all the indicators that you want. Um, you don't have to add all these, but I think that this combination of three indicators is a, a good setup for an AI to analyze. So once you added all your indicators, you can go to the right top and click save layout. And I think that you can only save one layout with a free account. Um, I have three saved layouts here, but that is because I have a paid account or I used to have a paid account to do some backtesting, but I stepped away from that. So if you can only save one layout, then is that because you have a free account? And you need to save the layout because once you save the layout, it will create a unique link for you that if you reload again, you'll see that it has your shard with all its indicators. And also this link we will have in our config file that we will paste here. And I did the same for Bitcoin and I did the same for Solana. So once you have your shard, you can just click here, create new layout, add your indicators and save it. You can give it a name, take the link and store it into your config file. So then we have all our shards. We can say the time frame, and that is actually referring to the time frame that we choose here, the pair and the link. And I use this format so that I can provide a bit of additional information to the AI, which is what time frame it is looking at, what pair it is looking at, and then the shard. Of course, the AI will do a decent job in understanding what it's looking at, but the more context that we can give it, the better our result should be. And that is why I use this format. So once we have our shards in our function here, I will loop through all these shards one by one, and I will give it to a function called get shard image URL from trading view. And the function is doing exactly what it says. It will go to trading view and it will take the screenshot from the um, actual shard. And for that, we use a library called Puppeteer. And Puppeteer is something that yeah, simulates actually a browser uh, interaction for you. And I can show you that. So if we open the tool again and I start it, start. Um, AI and then technical analysis. You will see that it pops up the browser and I'm not doing anything. It's the library puppeteer that does everything for me. Going to the URLs from our shards that we created and simulates this uh, Alt S key combination to create the image. Um, URL for us and then it will take the image URL and yeah provide it to our AI so that's what we are doing here and I can explain you really quick so puppeteer initializes a browser environment for us we can provide it some parameters for example headless and this you can set to true or false and if it's set to true it will show the browser to you if you set it to false it will just do it in the background and you will not even see the browser you can also specify what browser you want to use. And also this is stored in the config file for me. I'm using the Chrome browser and um, I'm also telling it where it can find the user data for me. And that is in this location. And the user data is really helpful because it will allow, to, uh, allow Puppeteer to open that browser with my session already active. So I don't have to build in the logic here to log in to trading view it will already be logged in and then we provided some arguments to start the window full screen so we know that the screenshot will be really well so we initialize a browser and we move on here we take our pair from the um the time frame the pair and the url better from the shard string that was provided in this function because remember we provided as for our pair name and link. So we actually split it up in three different variables. So we have the link, the pair and the time frame separately. Next we say to Puppeteer to create a new page. 
wait until the page is loaded, go to this URL from our chart, wait one second to make sure that it is loaded, simulate the key combination to create the screenshot link for us, wait one more second to make sure that everything is stored well. Next, we evaluate the page for anything on our clipboard or clipboard, which is in this case the URL from the image that was taken. And then we say to close the page and return the link from the image in the same format as it was provided. So time frame, pair and image URL. And I can also show you how that will look. So that is what we provide here for every shard string. So if we would then console log the my shards array, because for every shard that we do it, we store the result in a array. So if we log this here then, then we should get an array back in the same format, but this time it should contain the actual image URLs and not the links from the shards. So we ask Puppeteer to take the screenshots for us now. And you see, that is what we get back. I can also stop this. And this is the same format for our, the pair, and the actual link to the screenshot. And you can see this is the screenshot from the graph or the chart that we created earlier. So once we have that, we just say um, the tool to, you can close this browser instance now, we no longer need it. You can also null it so it's empty and we can move on. So now that we know that we have our short um, image URLs, we can do the exact same thing. We can loop through all of them. And that's what we're doing here. We have our um, images and we will loop through them one by one. So the format is the same. We do the same thing. We split it up in three different variables. We want the image URL, the pair, and the time frame. And the next thing we need to do is actually send this information to an AI. And the AI that we will use today is Grok. Um, and I will explain you why in a second. But we are using the OpenAI SDK because these two are compatible. So what we want to do is create a prompt first. So what we do is we say analyze this four hour or one hour chart for cryptocurrency pair XRP USDT really good. Please provide in the following format back if this chart looks bearish or bullish and a two sentence explanation why. This is the format that you will answer in and this is the format that we want the AI to answer. Just answer in this format, the JSON string here. I don't want any other explanation. So that is the prompt that we will use. And next we will ask the AI to do the analysis. And for that, we also have a separate function where I provide this prompt that we just created, the URL that we have from our images and the model. And the model again is stored in the config file and we are using the X vision model that we can also use OpenAI vision model but for now we're using Grok vision beta. So this is the model that we are actually providing here. And for that we created a separate function and this function is an actual copy from the OpenAI documentation because to do this request we are using the OpenAI SDK and if you go to the documentation for that, you can go to vision and here it, it explains what it needs um, to use the OpenAI SDK. Of course, we are using a different model, but the setup is exactly the same. So it needs a role, which is the user type text. That is our prompt. Then the image URL. And this is the URL that we provide. So if you look back at our code, is the exact same thing that we do. We provide the model. The role is the user. This is our prompt that we provided. The image URL. And we add an additional parameter called detail, which we set to high because we are analyzing a chart. So that's the SDK. 
it's uh, usable for any model. You just have to change your API key and your base URL, which are stored in the environment file, the token here and the base URL, but this can also be the OpenAI URL and your OpenAI token. So that is what we do here. And once the AI is done with analyzing the shard, it will return its response in the actual format that we asked it to do here in our prompt. So if all went well, it should reply with bullish or bearish and a short explanation on why it thinks that. So if that worked, we move on. We store our response in a variable and we extract the state, which is what it provided here, and the analysis. And we do some cleanup. Trim is just to remove any spaces from the start and the end. And we want to make sure that any non-alphabetic characters are also replaced by um, nothing. So that we actually have the word bearish or bullish. So we want to make sure that is the case. And then we also give it some color. If it's bullish, we make it green. And we give it a money icon. And if it's bearish, we give it a red icon and we make it red. And then we move on and we console lock everything here. So we just say this was for the four hour time frame for XRP USDT, the chart color. We wrap everything in here, what we want to show in green or red, which is the emoji and the state, bullish or bearish, the URL of the image and the notes of why the AI thinks that. So that's the whole setup for this tool. Um, it's not super complicated, but it will help you analyze shards really quick. As I said, this tool is also quite new for me. Um, as any other tool that you use as an algo trader, you need to build it and also test it really well because some tools are useful and some are not, but we also want to try to be uh, ahead of the curve. We want to try new things. If uh, image models come out, we want to try them. So once AI gets better in doing this kind of work, we are ready, we are future proof. We can just add the models and see what it spits out. We can test with OpenAI models. We can test with Grok models to see what gives us the best result. And if it works and it gives us edge, that's great. Um, if not, then we at least know and we can move on or make the tool better. So that was how we use AI to analyze shards real quick, get some edge out of it or not. That's something we will have to test. But for now, it looks really promising. So give it a go, take the code, try yourself, edit the prompt, see what it gives for you. And uh, maybe you get some edge out of it. So that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, because the next tool that we will talk about will also be really cool. Thank you.